What's up, Sagittarius? With your November love general reading. This is for my lovely Sagittarius's sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. So guys, this is a general, as always in a general, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective or be a bonus video for you. So just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. But tell me about the love energy surrounding Sagittarius for the month of November. Ten of Coins. Knight of Spears in reverse. Five of Swords. Ooh, the devil. Ugh. Okay. Stand in your power. It takes away all my pride. Makes me admit, admit I want you for a bride. So, remember in... um. Your part one video, Masculine is dealing with a lot of pride and ego. And it spoke a lot about how you are, you help them calm down, you help them heal and relax. Um, so Masculine loves your power, loves your, um, sorry, loves your, um, how strong you are with them. And wants you to be confident with them and you help to tear down that pride, that ego, you help to heal that pride, you help them to um, commit to you, okay, and it makes them want to um, take your relationship to the next level, you know, maybe through marriage or um, through a union with you, wants to unite, the, you know, in part because of this. So that's where the deepest desires, and I know that for some of you, you guys, um, some people come on here and just like thumbs down the video because of things like that. But I have to follow, you know, the rules with YouTube and I'm not being shy or timid or anything. I just have to make sure I follow those guidelines for the channel because I want my channel to um, to last and, and I want it to have a good reputation. So ego, masculine's film, but again, ego, that ego and that pride. Okay, so this one is really awesome. So, um, there is a sad separation between the two of you. Um, you guys are in that separation period, and it's very shattering for the masculine, okay? It's left them broken and shattered. But the masculine is really wanting to follow their heart. So, in part one, we talked a lot about how the masculine is following their heart, to union, following their heart to the feminine. And here we have love. Masculine in, is going to choose love. This is all about choices still. Um, and you guys are mirroring one another. So what you are feeling, the masculine is feeling, the sadness, the pain, um, your situation kind of reflects, resonates, or synchronizes with the masculine. So your masculine is feeling this separation very, very deeply very shattered by it, planning an exit, following their heart, follow your heart to love, to union with the feminine. This is their fantasy. This is what they desire. The masculines want to be with their feminines. Okay, so, oh, well, I'm going to get size from spirit. What's going on with the masculine? with this connection with the feminine. So we're getting chills and confirmation. So the masculine is receiving signs, secretness is with you, confirming their feelings and their thoughts. Masculine is growing, maturing, beard. So the masculine is gaining new insights, gaining knowledge, ascending. There's that ascension again, maturing in the connection. Melancholy and rainstorm. Yes, very sad, very depressed and emotional about the separation. Safe passage. So we have a lot here dealing with safety and shelter. Umbrella. Okay, shelter. Here we have two umbrellas. So, yeah, the masculine's feeling really sad and upset and shattered with the separation. 
also concerned about safety and shelter because here we have safe passage. So the masculine is waiting for a safe passage to come to you. Um, yes, the masculine is very, very sad and upset and you're wondering, well, why doesn't he just go for it? Why doesn't he just come? Well, there's something to do with stability, shelter, and safety. That is why the masculine is waiting. It's waiting for a safe passage to union. Because white, purity, innocence, safety, again, and light. So you are that white light for your masculine, the light to the dark, um, and safety, okay? So the masculine is really concerned with your safety, really concerned with the safety of the situation, and has to still work on severing, sever here, those ties with that karmic partner or relationship, friendship, however it resonates. Um, there's a lot of confirmations, okay, going on, signs and synchronicities. The masculine is maturing, accepting those signs now, mourning and missing you, and um, nostalgic about it, memories, but there's still a tie to be severed. And the masculine is needs to come to a safe passage for you. 888, new opportunities and abundance coming your way. Yes, so this new opportunity to come to you, to the feminine, and um, release those attachments, sever those ties, and abundance and hard work. And we've already seen that rewards out of hard work coming forward, new beginnings and new opportunities for the both of you. Okay. So I'm going to get counterparts. How is the masculine feeling towards the feminine? What are the kind of messages going on? Maybe something that the masculine is feeling or working on. A ton of the mystic hive lying out with of the deck. Bottom of the deck again, union is close. You're almost there. I see some chakras being worked on. I fantasize about you all the time. Nobody knows how to seduce me like you. So, the masculine, so we have fantasy in our part one. I fantasize about you all the time. You deserve more than what I can give you. So, we saw unawakened, we saw ego and pride. We saw um, that the masculine has is dealing with self worth. Um, so the masculine's working on being more worthy for you, worthy of your love, more stable, and feels like he's not deserving of you, of your love. Um, but again, this comes to choices. That is the void, okay? So the masculine's creating a block. Um, that void, the reason why nothing is going on in the connection, why there isn't contact or union right this moment, um, or say tomorrow, is because there is still this void being worked on. Here again, more fantasy. You're incredibly sexy. Can't stop imagining all the things I want to do to you. Working on the crown chakra. So working on opening up and letting the divine in. Reconnecting with that presence, which we saw that the masculine is doing. What do you even see in me? See, there's that unworthiness. There's that self-love. And you can send over that self-love to them. Fear and impatience, lack of abundance, greediness, anger, and aggression, physical blockages surrounding safety and security. Here we go again with safety. Working on that root chakra. So there's something surrounding safety and security that the masculine is working on to be with you. I miss everything about you. So you, you came on really strong in the beginning, a little too fast before the masculine could grasp what was going on, before your twin could really open up and connect to that power. And I'm sure you have backed off to this point. And they do miss you a lot. I need to take things slow. I am nervous. So they're the slow kind of twin here. Um, you came on too strong, too fast. I need to take things slow. I am nervous. The masculine wasn't quite ready and now wants to take things slow with you to be able to really open up and accept everything about themselves and about the connection. They're having a lot of fantasies about you guys, about being together with you, and they miss everything about you. So, what are the masculine's inner vibes here? That's been on the to something. Your dough, karmic connection going on. Karmic is blocking the connection.
stop it. <laughs> Man, so we had two, I think. So the masculine is getting into alignment, wants to make it right. My life is in shambles right now. The karmic is blocking our connection. And we've already talked about how that is being done. A lot of you are like, well, how is it? What is this block? Everybody's talking about why is there a block? But unless you've ever been in that situation that another has been in, putting yourself in their shoes, I think that it's really hard for you to accept what's going on, maybe accept why it's being blocked or accept why they cannot come forward to you. Um, because we often get frustrated as the feminine with how long things take. Because if we're being honest, we're kind of, it's not as slow as things used to be. Everything is so fast paced nowadays. It's I want it now type of life that we live. We have to relearn to be patient and to take things slower. And the masculine is good at that, right? Taking things really slow. But that is kind of, that's why they're the opposite of us. Um, that, well, that mirroring effect. Um, we don't like that in them because it doesn't exist in us. Um, we need to take things quickly. We want now. The masculines want to take things slowly because it takes them longer. And that's okay to take things a little bit slow. So no one could quite understand on either side what you're going through, what the masculine's going through. But it's important to be empathetic with each other. So the karmic connection, okay, is blocking your guys' connection. And it's causing our life to really me in shambles but masculine's heart is yours they're a little insecure some insecurities and fears healing myself to love you better i talked about this they are healing themselves to love the feminines better what you deserve oh i think about marrying you wow and we saw this that they're thinking about how you would you know think about you being bride we saw vows and commitment and um get away a, a honeymoon period I need to make it right with you. Get into alignment. So prepare for union. Tough times are stopping this connection. I'm not ready to love you the way you deserve to be loved. So the same exact thing as your counterpart message about um, you deserve more than what I can give. They don't believe they are deserving of your love. Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Um, masculine is sending you messages, sending you confirmation sending you signs about what's going on write those down my heart belongs to you do we just see that one Isn't there's something in here that was like my heart is yours right my yeah my heart is yours my heart belongs to you two clear-cut messages that the masculine still wants you wants to marry you look wants to be more than friends take it to the next level and i'm working towards being with you yes it is a work in progress. Masculine is working to be with you. Okay, so let me get my deck here. Bam to Dia. And the spirit messages. And we're going to turn over to your piles. What is the masculine's message to the feminine? What other spirit message message? And it's... Ah! One fault. No, that's it. Okay. I want to see you now. Wish you could come to me. So there's something blocking their way to you, karmic <laughs> partner, relationship, but they really want to see you. They love you now and always. Yes, the masculine loves you very much. Still in a karmic relationship, I'm learning lessons and I'm trying, but I'm trying to leave to come to you. So we already saw that the masculine is trying to come to you now. When I look at the moon and stars, I can feel you wonder if you're thinking of me too. Masculine misses you a lot, thinking a lot about you, looking up into the sky, wondering if you are there with them too. And I'm going to contact you soon. Masculines are working on communicating with you, and they want to um, contact you soon, okay? They want to make uh, take that step, take that risk towards you. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, <sighs> let me get a couple of confessions from your masculine. And then I mean, will... <coughs> Cut over to the karmic pile so that you can see what's going on, how they're working on it, what the outcome will be. Unmasculine and stem message. 
Okay, good question. I can't help sending sexual energy. I always desire you. So if you're feeling that, that's where it's coming from. The best love I've ever had. So nothing compares to you in your love. Your body is my weakness and your eyes see into my soul. So they admire you physically. I do love you and want to spend time with you. So confirmation of their love. Masculines do love you. I'm just not ready right now. Yes, they know that they're not ready. And they're working on becoming better for you. We saw that the masculines are working on coming towards you. They're still learning karmic lessons. Sorry, I risked losing your love. So that's what these apologies are for, this forgiveness that they're seeking. Um, they risked it to take the easy route or to take the route they were familiar with, with this karmic relationship. And that really pushed you away. And they're having regrets and resentments for that now. Um, and they're really physically feeling you, wanting you, desiring them. Okay, so let's turn over to our piles. So again, we have group one this smoky quartz okay group one smoky quartz this is you if this resonates this is your group and then group two rose quartz it is more pink than it looks right now but um this rose quartz is for you okay if this resonates with you just pick your pile i've got them shuffled here for you so group one and then group two rose quartz I'll give you guys a minute to resonate or feel for which pile you want um i can lay them like this for you as well so go ahead and pick your pile um time stamps are below when you could come back in if you're watching this live right now um go ahead and watch your first pile and then you guys could come on uh count the time from there here we go. So this is group two. I'm going to put you over here. Group one. Let's begin with you. Okay. So start off with the top. So the Ace of Pentacles. So here's a new door coming through. This coincides with the beginning of my reading, the first part um, for the collective. This is talking about seeking new venture, new life new opportunities on the other side of the door um and that is definitely what the masculine is doing here for this group so do yeah new opportunities <laughs> new um well, like a new path for the both of you oh my ace of wands another ace so we get one one here ace of wands so um <laughs> this is about you know manifestation um about you know creation and so creating something new it goes kind of hand in hand with this um the desire a new an inspiration to take on these new opportunities to um walk out the door to something completely unprecedented something they've never done before for the feminine um okay ace of cups wow so one 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 um this group there's something pretty crazy going on here so ace of cups um new flips i mean it's kind of like the same thing like so they're creating and manifesting something new with you um this these new feelings desires and and a, and a spirituality opening up them opening up their intuition so whatever is happening in this karmic relationship is pushing them to seek new opportunities to seek a new path to their feminine to leave behind the old and start new fresh um create and manifest a new life for themselves new desires and opening spirituality page of cups so the messenger card okay so the page of cups um is about um someone who is offering an emotional has an emotional like offering so like romantic offering um message so happy some kind of surprise um so like you know dreamy come true and oh my god judgment um so out of this karmic situation there will be an awakening um with this judgment we already know that judgment is all about waking up 
um, opening themselves up. So they're, this karmic relationship is teaching them these lessons and it's making them open up and realize what they have never realized before. They could create and have a new life and um, they're awakening from this old patterns, from this old cycle um, and seeking a doorway out, a new, new opportunity, um, creating a new life, manifesting a new life for their feminist. All right. So it's pretty, pretty incredible. So our twin flame oracle, courage. So the masculine is building courage out of this karmic relationship, faith. So they are, they have hope and faith for your guys' um, connection for, for you guys to be together and courage. Travel. Okay, so there could be some traveling going on, a meeting between the two of you, them traveling to see you, you traveling to see them, or some kind of voyage. And there are infinite possibilities between the two of you. It's just anything could happen. Ego, so here's that pride again, jealousy, walls, and um, let their guard down. So their ego is breaking down out of this karmic relationship. They're working on that ego. That's very important. Lessons, knowledge, understanding. Look for the lesson. Learning karmic lessons out of this karmic relationship. Wow. Social media fascination watching from a distance. So although they're still learning lessons and breaking down that ego for you in this karmic relationship, they're still watching you, still observing you from a distance. So there are boundaries, okay? Protect and honor um, your energy in a balanced way. So there are some uh, boundaries being set in the relationship between the two of you. Trust your intuition, what you're feeling. Your feelings are real, inner guidance, okay? So the masculine was working on that inner guidance, that intuition, on accepting that. And they need to trust their intuition in the karmic relationship about that person, the toxicity and ego drive of the whole situation. There is a mutual spark in attraction with another. Strong magnetic pull and chemistry with this person. There is a lot of passion of desire and awakening increased creative energy in your life. So out of this, um, they're still watching you, still observing you, and are being pulled and drawn to you magnetically. Um, that's what they mean. They're missing you a lot, thinking a lot about you, dreaming a lot about you. So there's still this mutual spark between the two of you, despite the, um, these challenges. Celebration. While we have this earlier... So there'll be a celebration, some good news out of this karmic relationship coming towards you. Karmic. So even though this is a karmic connection, it's meant to help you grow and heal so that you could find your true soulmate or twin flame. So this has a divine purpose. This is a divine intervention or a divine block meant to shield you from that lesson that has to be learned first by your masculine before you could come together. And look at here, twin flames. You've met your twin flame, and it'll be challenging, create life-altering sets of wholeness. So out of this karmic relationship, the coming together of you guys, twin flames, is happening. A romantic off offer, romantic gesture could surprise you. Here we go, surprise, a surprise message. Celebrate your union. So there will be union out of this karmic relationship where you guys come together when it ends. Oh my god, reunion. Both of you have learned a lot of less of learned a lot about yourself, understand the conduction. This reunion will be physical. So we have a physical reunion between the two of you headed your way. That's this that's what the celebration is about. Twin flame, you guys are gonna come together reunion romantically. Oh, oh my god. So romantic offer. We had vows earlier. There's going to be an offer to commit to you to detach from this karmic person to come together with you, their twin flame, and it's going to be like a celebration here. Flight plan, a trip, disappearance. Yeah, so they're planning on f this flight plan away from this karmic person. Traveling away, we had travel. And then we have withdrawal symptoms, yearning, craving, craving pain over loss. If so, we saw pining, masculines pining and yearning for their twin flame. They're really craving you, really wanting to be with you, connect with you. So this karmic relationship is very important to your connection because it is what is bringing you guys together in true union. So nothing toxic anymore, nothing karmic anymore, 
no more, you know, surprise, separations, whole, whole union, a romantic offering, a physical union between the two of you. So don't be disheartened by being in separation right now. It is fulfilling its purpose, the design. Okay, so there are boundaries for a reason, for a purpose. Masculine is going to start trusting your intuition about this person. But you guys are mutually attracted. There's a mutual desire. Um, they're still watching you from afar while they're learning their karmic lessons and breaking down that ego in that relationship. And um, there are infinite possibilities. There will be some travel, a meeting, um, and Mastodon's Guild gaining faith and courage out of this karmic relationship for you. Okay, so that was group one. If you are off, thank you so, so much for being here. Like, share, and subscribe if you resonated. Um, hit up my shop, Etsy channel. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, my group that I have there. Um, I have a lot of, you know, those sales going on and everything. I appreciate your guys' time so, so much and your support. And I really look forward to our next reading next week. And I really hope and pray that you have a really good weekend. Rest, rejuvenate, heal. Practice your um, mantras, practice your meditations, um, focus on manifestation for your twin flame and your DM, and you are going to help this union come to a finality much faster. So thank you so much for being here, guys, and look at the description. Um, go back to part one if you missed that earlier, and have a really great weekend, guys. All right. Okay, so group two, Rose Quartz. I am so happy to have you guys here. I'm going to start from the top. Knight of Swords. So your masculine um, wants to, is uh, in a forward momentum action. Okay, the masculine is going to be taking action in this connection with you guys um, a little bit impulsively. So running on some impulsivity. Um, but ready to take action, ready to take flight. Queen of Wands, very passionate about this. Very strong, clear-headed, um, ready to move forward. Five of Wands, so they're dealing with some competitive forces. This is a karmic um, card pile, so they are fighting off that competition. The masculine is headstrong, running into this to come towards you and to fight to this competitive force which is that karmic relationship very passionate diligent about doing this ready to take that action to get rid of this competition oh gosh yeah so they're surviving this attack this competitive force fighting for them fighting to keep you away but the knight of wands is all about they're still standing still strong still coming towards you Okay, so they're fighting off this competitive force, that karmic force, and still standing strong, win-win um, outcome, right, that we saw earlier. The moon, breaking down illusions, pulling off the mask, seeing past all that 3D, um, that 3D world that, you know, that was tricking them, following their intuition. The sun, new beginnings. So out of all of this comes new beginnings. The karmic forces will be driven away, will be fought off. No more competition for you guys of the connection. The masculine is not giving up. Strong and angry and passionate about doing this. Ready to take action. Um, ready to break down those illusions from that situation, relationship, and a new start. New beginning with you, their feminine. Okay, so our Twin Fling Oracle, Truth. So Truth is going to be revealed to them in this karmic relationship, and they're going to come out with the truth. Maybe the truth about you or the truth about their feelings, that they no longer want that relationship anymore. Um, a truth to you. Spying, so they are watching you from a distance. Spring. So an ending to this karmic relationship um, looks like spring. They're giving us a time frame here. Cycles, yeah. So these cycles will close. So they're going through these cycles. The truth is going to be revealed here. And there will be an ending to the cycle. 
around maybe springtime, possibly in this, you know, in the next year or however long it might take them. So mystery, there is some, okay, so we have truth and then we have mystery. So there is some truth to be revealed. Whatever was a mystery before, something that they didn't tell you, couldn't tell you, reveal to you, or whatever wasn't revealed in the karmic relationship will be revealed. The truth will come out and the mystery will be dissolved here. Passion, yes. So the outcome is passion. The masculine is passionate towards you um, and is seeking you. And we have ego. So the ego will be dissolved. Um, the masculine is learning to break down that barrier, that ego and pride in this karmic relationship. Oh, awakening. Your twin is awakening to your connection. So earlier we had unawakened and then through this karmic relationship, when those lessons are learned, masculine, there will be a rebirth and an awakening to the connection. Oh my gosh, so we have mystery again. Hang on, where is that? Was it this one? Yeah, so we had... Uh -huh. We had... It's like this last one. Oh. It's okay, so we had mystery, and now we have mystery. <laughs> I'll keep this here, actually. So... Magic intrigue suspects entering unknown territory. Wow. So I was talking about earlier how the masculines are going to be going through just some walking through some doors that they have never went through before for the feminine. And this just validates that for this group, the masculine will be walking through this door, going down this path that they've never touched before in regards to the feminine. Nostalgia, repetition, <clears throat> let it go, reliving the past. So the masculine is going to let go this karmic relationship. A fresh start, release the past. Again, this is a second chance. So the masculine and you will have a second chance as soon as they let go of this karmic relationship. Compromise. So a mutual understanding, give and take, brings rewards. So there will be a compromise in this karmic relationship in which they both make a decision and that will reap the rewards. So the rewards will be a fresh start with you. Feminine, you're seeking your twin or soulmate. So this is you, a fresh start with the feminine. Your twin appreciates you. So the masculine is really appreciating you right now. And you, your presence in their life. So they're healing, okay? Be gentle with yourself and your twin. Masculine is healing right now. Be patient. Career business success. So the masculine's working on big goals in this karmic relationship. Resistance, yes. So this karmic root, um, relationship is causing some resistance in your connection. Oh my god, hey. Reconciliation. This is coming together with someone and working on whatever has torn you apart. Could be a past connection. This person's praying for a new beginning with you, receiving apology, or a compromise. Went on, where is that? Hold on. Huh. Okay. So compromise okay so there will be a compromise here a second chance another card talking about a second chance with you reconciliation there will be a coming together true love this love is real and true genuine connection manifesting higher vibrational relationship twin flame and you're going to reach unconditional love we saw true love multiple times today and this true love is going to, you guys are going to come together. That's just all, all I could say. Okay, so here, oh wow, so there are two karmic flames here, these black flames, a lost case. You're experiencing so much pain, you're struggling to see the purpose and point in a relationship. Perhaps it's time to let go, begin to heal. And this is exactly what we have been seeing today. That relationship is a lost case, losing interest, the flame burning out in that relationship. Control issue. Whether you're being controlled or controlling, um, recognize you're being asked to play, then graduate. Okay, so graduate, leave, evolution. So out of this karmic relationship, this lost relationship that they're letting go of, the masculine is going to rebirth, awaken, going to come forward to you. Breakthroughs, increase self-awareness, ice fishing. Masculine's going to have a breakthrough out of this karmic relationship. A uh, good vibration, uplifting, resonance again. And then we have positive vines. Masculine is 
having a breakthrough and feeling those good positive vibrations going off grid disappearing for a while so we had travel and then earlier we had them leaving so they're going to kind of heal disappear for a little bit rest from this period heal their broken heart after all of this happens and um, then they're going to come back in stronger oh my god divine feminine and for you yin feminine maternal energy to come towards you wow they're going to go off free with you too i feel like they're going to want some time like a lot of time alone with you where you guys get to know each other and talk a lot and talk about what has happened and they're going to you know want to apologize to you and things like that so we have feminine twice wounded healer wisdom from experience yeah they're dealing with them through that broken heart they're healing that broken heart you're a big part of this you're the nurturer the feminine you help them heal receiving care attention so cherished pet so this is about being cared for by another person and the masculine um truly wants to care for you to show that they care here we go. Quench your thirst. Be yourself to rehydrate and replenish. So healing. Again, we have quench. So this karmic relationship's gonna they're gonna be healing a lot from this. Passion, aliveness, and flashes of inspiration. So forest of fire, the masculine is going to gain a new perspective, is going to be have a lot of passion and to to break off this sever this tie with the um, karmic relationship. But you are on their minds. They're thinking about you, missing you, working hard to be with you. So that's, that is what's going on in that karmic relationship. Um, the masculine is learning, growing, um, getting new perspectives and pulling through finally. Getting rid of this karmic energy, this lost relationship, lost the love and everything. But this is true love and there will be a reconciliation with true love. 